because it's finally time to get these rough country pod lights and the switch panel all wired up and working. I got this mess of wires to work with. Check out the video for the installation of the CJD racing brackets for these rough country pod lights. Really super easy installation, but it's gonna ensure that the pod lights are in the exact right point that they need to be and not interfere with your hood opening and closing on your Titan. Rough country does a really nice job with their instruction manual. All really nice color photos, very detailed and really should be relatively simple and straightforward. I gotta say that project's a little bit of a B word to be quite honest with you. The switch panel really is universal fit so they provide a couple of different uh, mounting brackets. I went a different route however. I like the idea of not having to drill any holes in my center console. I mean the truck is only three years old or so. I thought about putting it on the center of this sort of cavity. This cavity really just is here to collect odds and ends, spare change and chapsticks and things like that. It really doesn't serve any purpose. And I actually thought about mounting the switch panel right in the center of it because I'm sort of OCD when it comes to symmetry. But in this case, I would have ended up with very small little slits on both sides of it, which would just ask for crap to fall down in there and rattle around, which I can't stand. But I'm actually gonna make a little plastic divider that just goes straight down to the bottom. So nothing should fall down underneath, uh, underneath of it and rattle around and it'll leave some space for my wife to stick her chapsticks or we can put actually a charging block in there it fits perfectly and this is just secured down with some two-sided tape uh, 3m or gorilla tape works perfectly uh, it's on there really secure it's not going to rattle around and even if we want to remove it we can just pry it off there and there won't be any screw holes or any damage to the center console you never know it was there there's actually just this perfect little channel for the cable to go down in uh, I just push it all the way down in there and just run it down underneath the trim all the way over uh, through the the port in the firewall to uh, get it to our main power source. And that is what I need to focus on now. We're going to mount the, the power supply box in this vicinity. I thought about just attaching it to the cover of the fuse box here. This is what we're working with here nicely, a little packaged unit. This is the cord, the cable that runs from your switch panel in the cabin through the firewall and this actually connects here. So uh, we're gonna figure out a good mounting point for this. There's a, mount, there's a mounting bracket for it as well somewhere. I just dug this out of there, I wasn't sure what it was, but it's a nice little cover for your switch panel if you have it installed in a Jeep or something with no top. Keep the water out, nice. So this is the mounting bracket for the fuse panel itself. I might have to utilize this. The bracket's just a little too big, so I'm gonna go ahead and just mount it right to the box cover itself. I'm gonna use one bracket on one side here, and then just screw straight down on the other side. Change my mind a little bit. I'm using a little bolt and nut just to hold it into place a little bit better. Then I'm going to actually forgo the bracket. We don't need no stinking bracket. We located our pass-through hole in the firewall. We have to do something else about the grommet now because the grommet is a little bit too small to accommodate the, the wire. But uh, for now, we're just going to pass it right through. We'll grab a grommet at Lowe's tomorrow or something. Just got our tape to a little hot dog skewer and fish it through right oh, there. There. Got it. So I'm actually just going to route this up and over the pedal assemblies, but I'm going to connect it here at the point and then we'll know how much uh, slack we actually need. Just figuring out how to run the wires now. Blue is for the amber lights, white is for the white lights, and red is power. Lost my wire stripper.
really only have to worry about the white and blue wires for the lights themselves because we have power going into the circuit panel. We'll be bringing power directly into this. This will be grounded as well, so really everything just runs right into it. And then this is connected to the switch, so we're just gonna connect both lights together. So they both get power simultaneously. So Rough Country gives you this nice diagram here and it actually numbers each one of the, the switches and what, what fuse they correspond with. So you can see uh, seven and eight here correspond with the 30 amp fuse, five and six correspond with the 20 amp fuse and so on. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to save some of the, uh, the 30 amps or one of them at least for a bigger light bar. Um, and then something like rock lights, I would say for five amp, you know, some really small single or just a couple little LEDs, uh, save them for the, the five amp fuses. So I've already been planning my panel and my layouts a little bit. I, I got a couple of blanks here, but, um, you get a whole sheet of stickers so you can really lay them out. But I, I kind of thought about how I want to lay this out. I put my cubes up front and center because I think those will probably be used mostly. This is the white and then this will be the amber. Uh, I don't want to spoil it, but put a bigger light bar up above uh, and then maybe one out back as well um, I might do some additional lights and I'm actually gonna wire my rock lights in even though I have a nice little switch down here by my left knee uh, we're gonna put it into this panel as well hardest thing is finding a damn spot for this to go and these cables are so damn long and I really don't have anywhere else to mount this thing so this is like the best location but everything's so long and bulky to kind of fit. So this is the most frustrating part. I could probably run it without this, but it's a nice safety feature to have. What I still need to do is wire in this accessory wire, and that essentially takes power from your accessories or fuse panel. Uh, some people wire it directly to like the cigarette lighter or something like that. Uh, and that takes power to the switch panel itself, which then is gonna send the signal to this panel and, and complete the circuit for whatever lights you wanna turn on. So what I did is just open up the fuse panel here and uh, fortunately I have a couple that are unused. So what I'm going to do is use uh, that little port uh, between the 15 and the 30 there on the top and uh, pull power directly from that. This is a little not jumper, but uh, add a circuit or add a fuse or fuse tap, uh, they're called. So this will go uh, right in there uh, because it just allows me to have something to wire into. Uh, normally you would do this if you were using an existing fuse, right? So, um, but since we have an open one, we're just gonna use it to get power, uh, put the fuse in this part and then uh, be able to run the wire from the actual you know, accessory plug. Looking at it like this, the top slot, which is slot B, that is for the accessory. The bottom one would be for the existing fuse if you were to use one. I think we can leave it empty and we'll still get power at the wire. So I'm gonna plug it in and we'll test it to see if we're actually getting uh, power to that fuse and to the wire and we'll be good. Perfect. Probably should have tested everything before I got it all hooked up and situated, but I'm gonna test it now before I tidy up all the wiring. Got the accessory wire hooked up to the 10 amp fuse in the fuse box. Uh, power going to the switch panel itself. Power connected to the battery. Negative tick to the battery. Pod lights hooked up. Amber is white. Blue is the white light. And then I did the rock lights too, even though we still got that on the switch and we'll, we'll, we'll address that at another point, but. Well, we got power at the panel when we open the door. That's a good sign. Turn accessories on. So right now we just have, this should be the white lights. This should be the amber and rock lights are right here. We got some other plans for the other lights in the future, but right now let's see the cubes on oh, we got a light here that's good let's see if we can see them oh see the ambers good 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 well rock lights 
All right. Let's turn that off. That just turns all of them off if you have any on. So if we had cubes on and we had the rock lights on and we wanted to shut them off, boom. That's so lucky there's a little threaded bolt right up in there. I have these wire cable clamps. I gotta say that project's a little bit of a B word to be quite honest with you. If you, especially I would say if you don't have a whole lot of room like in the Nissan Titan, everything is just packed really tight around the battery and you won't wanna run cables all the way across the other side of the vehicle. I would also say do your very best to get all of the lights, the wires connected to the fuse panel before you mount it anywhere. Even though it leaves you that those little slots to run the wires up and into, it's still a, a bit of a nightmare. And one of the first steps it has you do is secure the positive and negative battery cables to the, the fuse panel, the fuse block. I wouldn't do that either. Wait till the very end. Maybe run them up through, but leave them loose. Those wires are so heavy duty and hard to bend. It just makes it a hassle to try to finagle everything around when, it's, when, when they're just hanging there tight. The good news is though that we are ready now to run any other lighting accessories that we want. It would just be a matter of running the wires to the fuse block. It's pretty simple. I'll try to leave links in the description to some of the stuff that was used today. Check them out if you are interested at all. And we got some more lighting stuff coming up for the Titans. So I hope you guys will stick around. Appreciate it very much. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Get to every single one of them as quickly as I possibly can. Appreciate the support up to this point. Guys, more stuff coming for the channel. Thanks for watching this one. See you next. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs>